Tonight, new details of how Vladimir Putin's elite hackers may have gone after the campaign of a man who could be a close American ally, French presidential candidate Emmanuel Macron. Researchers with the cybersecurity firm Trend Micro tell CNN the hackers they exposed likely had to be working at least to pursue the goals of the Russian president. The interests and aims of the group align very closely with the interests and aims of the Russian state and, and taken as a whole um, really don't align that closely with anybody else. Trend Micro says it can't definitively link the cyber attacks against Macron's campaign to Putin. But the firm says the hackers who targeted Macron's campaign, a group they call Pawn Storm, had the same fingerprints as hackers nicknamed Fancy Bear. That's the group which U.S. intelligence officials say targeted the Democratic Party and is believed to be commanded by the GRU, Russia's military intelligence agency. Whether they're called Fancy Bear, whether they're called Porn Storm, we're talking about the same organized group and the attacks bear all the same hallmarks. Officials from Macron's campaign tell CNN the hackers tried to trick staffers with fake emails and other familiar attacks. It wasn't just phishing and attacking the website, right? No, absolutely. Russia clearly wanted to go after Emmanuel Macron to support the other candidates who are in favor of a stronger relation with Russia, who are pro-Putin, fascinated with Putin. Uh, so, you know, we've seen fake news being disseminated on social media by RT and Sputnik, which are Russian-owned outlets. But Macron campaign officials tell us no sensitive data was stolen from them. Analysts say Putin wants to work against Macron to tilt the election toward his favorite candidate, the far-right populist Marine Le Pen, who wants to bring France out of NATO and the EU. Tonight, key questions about Putin's real involvement with his hacking teams. Is he directing the hackers' moves? Experts say likely not, but the president's not out of the loop either. No major foreign policy intervention, either a cyber attack into a foreign election or a military expedition into a neighboring country would happen without Putin's knowledge, permission and say so. Vladimir Putin denies trying to disrupt the French elections and his aides say it's nonsense that Kremlin-backed hackers targeted the Macron campaign. But analysts at Trend Micro tell us there are indications they've gotten that these same hackers also went after other entities that work against the Kremlin's interests, entities like NATO and like a think tank associated with Chancellor Angela Merkel's campaign in Germany.